Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Scott. I've been in practice here in Virginia Beach since 1996. I'm the founder of the Total Health Center, and today I'm going to share with you how we successfully treat thyroid conditions at the Total Health Center. If you're watching this DVD, we can just about guarantee one thing. You, or someone you care about, is frustrated with their health. The first thing you should know is we do things a bit differently. The biggest difference is in our treatment philosophy. Treat the person, not their diagnosis. Why would I say that? Well, a diagnosis is just a label, a set of words. It's what the healthcare system uses to classify us and put us into neat little boxes that fit the criteria set forth in textbooks. Here at the Total Health Center, we know that you're not that textbook definition, not some label. Instead, we know that you're a human being, for God's sakes. Now, don't get me wrong. A diagnosis can be useful. If you came to me and said, I have restless leg syndrome or my child has ADHD, we may have a place to start. But every day, people are misdiagnosed, given false labels, false hope, and needless worry. Where the problem lies is that the diagnosis won't give me the most important answer of all. What is the cause of your problems? Yes, your child may have ADHD, but why does he have it? Without this all-important factor, how can we ever begin to think that we may be able to offer some type of relief, not to mention a cure for these debilitating and chronic conditions? We know there are no cookie-cutter protocols for these conditions. We are dealing with flesh and blood human beings, not cold, unfeeling textbooks. We begin by asking, what is the mechanism? Why is this happening? To answer these questions, we use a new treatment program drawing on multiple sciences and health fields, including functional neurology, functional metabolic testing, chiropractic neurology, and brain-based therapies. Let's start with functional neurology. Functional neurology is a method of treatment that aims to integrate all of the brain's sensory activities in order to treat a variety of clinical and subclinical symptoms. This modality draws from a number of complementary and alternative health therapies. Correcting neurological problems and restoring functionality in the body may be possible by participating in a variety of exercises whose aim is neurological integration. These exercises involve specific forms of or exposure to movement, scent, sound, light, and touch. Drugs and surgery are not a part of this modality. When you come into the office, we may have you do simple things in a specific way, such as tapping to flashes of light or listening to music in one ear, tracing a maze. The simplicity can be deceiving. The secret is in stimulating the weak areas or inhibiting the overdominant areas of the brain and nervous system. I want to talk to you about two thyroid conditions that make up a significant part of my practice, hypothyroid and Hashimoto's disease. Most of my patients have been to multiple doctors with these conditions. You see, when it comes to thyroid, the traditional healthcare model looks at one lab marker, and that is thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. So if that marker goes up or down, they determine the efficacy of their treatment, regardless of your symptoms. So if your TSH goes down following thyroid replacement therapy, they assume that their treatment is working. Now, if you still have depression, they will give you a medication to treat your depression. If you have constipation, they will give you a medication for constipation. If your hair is falling out, they will give you medication for that. You do not need more medication to treat those symptoms. Those are symptoms of a thyroid problem that is not being correctly managed. We know that just because your TSH is being managed, your thyroid condition is still there. Why is this? Because many of these cases are Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune condition where the body is attacking itself. So what makes this happen? Well, many of these people have a genetic predisposition to acquire this disease, and different triggers can turn these genes on. It could be a food sensitivity, a bacteria, a parasite, chronic stress. A lot of these things can get these genes turned on. Once those genes turn on, it no longer becomes a thyroid problem. It becomes an autoimmune problem. If the autoimmune is not addressed, patients continue to suffer year after year and are trapped in a failing system of management. What we do is first determine if you have the signs of hyper and hypothyroid. The hypo signs are inability to lose weight, constipation, 
hair falling out, cold hands and feet. Hyper signs are heart palpitation, insomnia, night sweats. So if you have a combination of both types, you could have Hashimoto's. If you are constantly needing to change your medication and your TSH goes up and down, that's another sign. We look at a number of tests to determine the underlying cause of your problem. We look at a T and B subset population, and we look at cytokines. This gives us an idea if you are TH1 or TH2 dominant. The point is, we leave no stone unturned when it comes to finding the underlying cause of your problem. We have seen truly miraculous results with these patients. We use specific brain-based therapy, such as vibration therapy. Vibration simulates the back part of the brain called the cerebellum. One of the functions of the cerebellum is control of the spinal muscles. We may also use auditory, visual, olfactory, and caloric stimulation to increase stimulation to specific parts of the brain. Interactive Metronome is a computer-based program that uses visual, auditory, and motor stimulation to increase firing of the brain. Doing some detective work, neurologically, this is what makes us different. Another thing that makes us different, functional metabolic testing. You may have already had lab tests done, and the results came back negative. This is where functional metabolic testing comes in. In medicine, they use pathological ranges. These ranges are very wide, and if you have a positive test with these ranges, you are in the pathological state. You see, most diseases develop over time. It's a gradual process that eventually ends up as a diagnosable disease. Think of the dentist. Before you have a root canal, you have a cavity. Before the cavity, you have plaque. It's a process that results in a root canal. The pathological ranges are looking for root canals, not plaque. Functional ranges are looking for the plaque stage. For instance, blood glucose. The range can be from 70 to 115. Optimal is 85 to 99. Blood glucose can have an effect on your brain and nervous system. If you are getting to the edge of the pathological range, you're sick, just not diagnosable yet. You are comparing yourself with sick people. Functional ranges are comparing you to healthy people. We look at functional ranges. Unless you are seeing a doctor trained in this style of practice, you are not going to find the cause of your problem until you need a root canal. We will not leave any stone unturned. By using specific blood tests such as thyroid panel, a complete metabolic panel, a lipid panel, a CBC, or a complete blood chemistry with auto differential. We can assess your thyroid, adrenal glands, liver, kidneys, red and white blood cells, and gut function with the above tests. All can be affected with chronic conditions. By addressing these problems, we can help you heal faster. Remember, the body is constantly performing a balancing act. An imbalance, metabolic or neurologic, could be the cause of your thyroid problems. You see, the health of your immune system is dependent on metabolic processes. When you have a metabolic imbalance, you can have a weakened immune and endocrine systems that are more susceptible to thyroid problems. Another test we do is sensitivity testing to determine if you have a sensitivity to gluten, which is wheat, rye, oats, and barley, milk, eggs, yeast, and soy. If you are sensitive to any of these food groups, it could be making your condition worse by increasing inflammation in your brain and throughout your body. Adrenal Stress Index. You can test the adrenal glands with a test called the Adrenal Stress Index. This is a salivary test, much like the DNA testing. The adrenal glands sit right above the kidneys, and they are your stress organs, meaning they react to stress. If the patient suffers from stress, insomnia, and or diabetes, this test is a must. It will measure their cortisol levels. Your thyroid could be hampered by an autoimmune condition. Your immune system could be attacking your brain and nervous system. This is why immune panels are so important. 99% of our patients have already been to five, six, even seven doctors with little or no long lasting results. For the most part, all of the specialists look at only that part of the system in which they are trained. A cardiologist looks only at the heart and its vessels. An orthopedic wrist specialist only the wrist, a dermatologist, the skin. You get the picture. This approach has failed for a great many of us. You have to take a step back and view the big picture, the person as a whole, not just the parts that make up that wonderful and complex being. With all the advances in technology, the big picture has been missed. To get the great results we do, 
we must be really good detectives, trying to find the problem's root cause. That means doing the necessary test, whether or not any out of touch and self-interested insurance company thinks they're medically necessary or not. Are you suffering with some chronic condition or maybe no one even knows what's wrong with you? Or worse yet, accusing you of making it all up? Or that it's just psychosomatic? Have you tried various medicines and seen numerous and varied health care providers? Have you gone through treatment after treatment just to be let down again and again, made to feel like a burden and told to get on with your life, learn to live with it? Thousands of patients just like yourself have suffered, felt hopeless and alone, and felt that no solution would ever be found despite the many sincere prayers made for help. So ask yourself the following questions. Honestly, consider writing down your answers. Number one, how much has this condition affected your job, relationships, finances, family, and other activities? Two, what does it cost you in time, money, happiness, and freedom? Three, where do you picture yourself in one to three years if this problem isn't taken care of? Four, what is it worth for you to be able to live your life without this problem being such a burden? You may have been told by other doctors that there's nothing wrong with you, where it's all in your head. What that doctor should have said is that there's nothing that I know of to help you. If that doctor says that there's nothing wrong with you, then he or she assumes that they know everything. You may at one time given in and just figured that you would just have to learn to live with it. Even if you believe or have been told that you couldn't recover or you have a permanent unchanging condition that could only get worse but never better, what if it were possible to be 30%, 50%, or even 80% better? What would that be worth? What about being 100%? What would you do to be able to achieve this? Now don't get us wrong, we can't help everyone. That's why we thoroughly evaluate every patient that comes into our office. We have to determine whether you're a candidate for care or not. Let's do some detective work and find out what's out of sync. As I mentioned earlier, we do things a little bit different. First, we are going to look at all the systems in your body and find out where the lack of communication is. The beautiful thing about this is that many times people find improvements in other areas of their health. Remember, we are not treating just your symptoms or diagnosis. We are helping your body function better. When you function better, other areas will improve. I don't care what you've been told or who told it to you. You do not need to suffer. We have helped many people who were told they would just have to live with it. And when we cannot help, Sadly, we can't help everyone. I tell them that there's nothing that I know of to help you. But keep looking. There is an answer out there. That's why you're here now watching this video. That's how I came up with this whole system of treatment. I kept learning. And I will continue to keep learning. If you want us to help you, give us a call. But whatever you do, don't give up. Keep looking and keep learning. If you decide that this is something you want to explore further, you need to follow some very important guidelines. Number one, completely fill out all paperwork that came with your packet. I'm going to read every line. Again, this is what makes us different. Number two, mail the paperwork to the office. We cannot set an appointment until we receive all of your paperwork. Number three, once we receive the paperwork, our office will give you a call to set up an appointment. 